Hi, I'm Shiv Aglani. Thanks for checking out our Raise the Line interview series in which me and my co-host, Osmosis Chief Medical Officer, Dr. Rishi Desai, explore how to strengthen our healthcare system with some amazing leaders in medicine, technology, education, and government. And they have some great advice for people starting careers in healthcare as well. I hope you'll watch these highlights and then go listen to the full podcast interview wherever you get your podcasts. Hi, I'm Dr. Rishi Desai, and today on Raise the Line, I'm happy to be joined by Dr. John Danaher, the Global President of Clinical Solutions at Elsevier, which supports the work of researchers, clinicians, and educators around the world. It's a 140-year-old company, and they publish over 2,500 digitized journals, including The Lancet and many important reference works like Gray's Anatomy, uh, the reference for anatomy, not the TV show. Dr. Danaher is board certified in internal medicine and has a wealth of experience in education and digital communications, having held leadership positions at Kaplan University, Discovery Communications, and WebMD. So I'd love to just kind of get your story, your backstory on what got you into medicine and, and what led you down these interesting career choices. You've had so much uh, variation in, in where you've worked. I started medical school um, at Dartmouth and then did my, did my residency, chief residency out at Stanford. They asked me to be the chief resident of medicine. There was a year interlude. And so what I did was I applied for a program called the White House Fellowship and was part of a class of about 14 people and assigned to the Secretary of Health and Human Services, Dr. Lewis Sullivan. And while I was there, Rishi, and it's very apropos given what we're dealing with um, with COVID, we were dealing with AIDS at that time. I, I've been very blessed in my career to have been um, on all sides of the healthcare uh, continuum. So I was on the provider side initially, as you said, I was on the early management team of WebMD. Um, I also uh, was in, in, in health insurance and then um, uh, some very exciting years in healthcare education and then have been at Elsevier now for the past seven and a half years. So it's given me a nice 360 of, of how uh, healthcare information can really um, touch not only doctors, nurses, allied healthcare professionals, but patients. What advice do you have for incoming healthcare workers uh, who may not have much prior experience, but are kind of joining the workforce now in the midst of COVID-19? You should realize that you are entering an extremely noble profession that has a tremendous amount of, of um, demand from, from and, and respect by, by uh, people, and particularly in, the, in terms of this time of COVID. And second thing, you know, uh, Rishi, which I think you know, you'll appreciate is, you've got to take care of your mental health and be aware of and sensitive to your mental health if you are a frontline worker addressing this, this pandemic. It is, it is horrendously stressful. New graduates, new, you know, uh, uh, entering this field for the first time, new healthcare workers, new clinicians. Um, I would really just congratulate them for having chosen a noble, noble profession and career and just encourage them to listen and to stay, you know, closely tuned into um, to their mental health needs because this is a very taxing, trying time for, for everyone. Thanks for watching this preview of Raised Line. To hear the full interview, check out all of our podcasts and subscribe to the series, please go to osmosis.org forward slash raise the line podcast or listen wherever you get your podcasts.